Last month, a terrifying attempt of murder and robbery in a Sun City Summerlin neighborhood was caught on camera. That suspect is now behind bars. And for the first time, Metro is here giving us details about this arrest. We are joined by Officer Larry Hadfield and Deputy Chief Nick Farisi. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thanks this for morning. having us. Thank you. Absolutely. So uh, one thing we wanted to talk about was, of course, this case just took the community by storm. People were really angry that this could happen and in our neighborhood. So uh, the community really came together and helped Metro out. Can you guys talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think, you know, first and foremost, if you watch that video, you know, you see somebody fleeing. They're, they're clearly trying to get away yes. from this, this person. And Armando Dangerfield pursues one of our senior citizens across the street and then, you know, for the grace of God, yeah. he was not able to shoot him. And I, I, I was very taken when I saw this video and, mm -hmm. you know, when we released it to everyone, you know, we got a lot of responses. So we're going to take this opportunity to thank the media first and foremost for putting this out. You, we couldn't have solved this without you. Um, you know, the exposure and sending, having this video out, out on Nationwide really helped. And today I brought uh, Deputy Chief Nick Farisi to speak about the procedures and, and you know, how much manpower we, we did and, yeah. and the processes of how we got this individual into custody. And it was really, I mean, you give credit to the media, but it's really the, the viewers and yeah. people who see this video and want to take action because it is really just unfathomable that somebody could target a senior citizen like this. So oh, that yeah. really hit the hearts of people and yes, they helped did. you guys out. Absolutely. You know, I mean, that, that, that video started it and uh, with the ring doorbell video, but then we reached on the Sun City community. That's 8,000 plus members. Mm -hmm. We told them to check their cameras, check their security footage. Yep. It was through that that we were able to get a better picture of the suspect vehicle. Wow. We then worked with our community partners in the auto industry. They confirmed the vehicle for us. Uh, we worked major case protocol, which basically means we put a lot of resources mm -hmm. around the clock, canvas for further video, and that's where we got better pictures of our suspect now that we knew wow. what car we were looking for. The story goes viral, it goes national. Uh, somebody in Arizona reaches out and says, hey, I think I know that person. Wow. Uh, they contact the police there, the police there contact us, and that's how we're able to put this case together. Wow, I mean, that's a lot of moving pieces and just tells you, uh, how many people can be involved in solving a crime like this? Now, you were, uh, of course, contacted by Arizona police. Did Dangerfield live in Arizona and come up here to commit the crime, we or was so. he fleeing? So we believe so. I mean, he, he, he has a, a history of doing crimes like that in Arizona okay. where he, pl he plagues on our uh, vulnerable community. Mm. Uh, but we have a relationship with the uh, U.S. Marshals Service in Arizona because we have a task force here. Uh, so between that partnership, we were able to get that information over to them, and that task force that's comprised of several uh, agencies in that area, okay. Mesa, Tempe, was able to get him into custody for us. And so uh, what's next for Dangerfield? So right now we're working on extradition. He's looking okay. at some serious charges here to include attempt murder, two counts of robbery, burglary with a firearm, kidnapping. Uh, so he has to answer some charges in Arizona, yeah. and then he'll come here to answer the charges for what he did in our community. Uh, does the fact that he targeted a senior citizen add anything to his charges? Yeah, so that'll be enhancements because of mm. the age of the victim, uh, where there'll be enhancements at sentencing because of that. Okay. A a any indication that he's committed crimes here in Las Vegas or Nevada? Prior. You know, so that's something we're still looking into. That this just evolved last week. Uh, we were happy to at least bring the residents of Sun City some okay. peace of mind that he's in custody and he can't do this anymore. And that'll be something that detectives continue to work on. Okay. Well, you know, I'm glad you guys came in here to kind of break down what he's facing and for thanking the community. And yeah. it just shows you how important your videos can be to cracking cases Absolutely. like these. Absolutely. The process works. Yeah. Thank you both so much for joining Thank us you. this Thanks. morning. All right. If you have a question for Metro, please send us an email to. Behind the badge at fox5vegas.com.